Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be working on the 23 F-150 Super Snake. in for paint correction and uh, after it leaves here it's going to get PPF put on the entire truck originally just gonna be a couple panels front maybe the hood but a customer messaged me yesterday said that he's going to wind up doing a whole entire truck which is not a bad idea on a truck like this so we're gonna get the paint cleaned up it's got a uh, got a lot of washer or car wash uh, scratches going down the side somebody ran it through the, uh, the brush car wash a couple times. Good customers, you might have seen the video a few years ago, he and his wife both bought brand new Shelby GT500s and they were both in at the same time to do a ceramic coating. Maybe I'll put the link down below in the description. But he traded his Shelby in to get this truck. There's some marks on the hood and on the, uh, the bed cover. There's some areas that need to be fixed. So we're gonna go over the whole truck, get it washed up good first, do a good decon on it and then get the paint perfected so it can go out for PPF. This truck was in a few weeks ago for just a basic wash and the customer wanted me to uh, just check out the paint and see if it was gonna need any paint correction before the P PPF was installed. And that's when I came across those swirl marks that you just saw on the door. Someone did try to buff something out. The washer marks that were you know, going down the sides of the vehicle from the bed sides all the way up to the front fenders. And then uh, you can see as, this, as the camera kind of pans down here, you can see that the scratches as you follow the bottom part of the light as it comes down to the rocker panel above the sticker. A lot of car wash scratches there. Then we moved on to the uh, the hard cover on the bed and there were a lot of water spots present. And uh, this is just from, you know, washing the truck, leaving the water kind of standing on the flat surfaces and as it dries, it's going to leave behind any minerals that were in the water, which is going to leave water spots. This is on the passenger side of the bed cover. It looks like someone tried to maybe rub something off with a towel or just kind of leaned over the side of the truck. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna to have to address that too. And then this is just another look at what the, the automatic car wash did to the bed sides. As the light moves down, you can see all the scratches there. Luckily, the hood did not have much going on here. So I guess the brushes, you know, didn't touch the hood that, that much, but uh, we're gonna get rolling here. So with any paint correction, polish, I'm using a compound, I'm always going to do a test spot and figure out the right combination that I wanna use for each specific vehicle. It's gonna vary depending on the paint, uh, it's gonna vary on the condition of the paint, how old it is. So in this situation, I've had experience with, you know, vehicles coming in that are brand new, uh, that have these car wash, car wash marks on them. And uh, my go-to is always going to be 3D1. I've been using it for years. You've seen it in all my other videos. So what I'm using here, you might notice that there's a different pad. Usually I'm using the blue Lake Country pad. Here, this time I'm using the Eurofiber pad. And uh, it was definitely cutting out the scratches higher up on the panel. So farther up on the bedside, it was definitely improving, knocking them all out, no issues at all. As I moved lower on the panels, that's where more of the scratches were present. And uh, it was a little tougher to try to cut those out. So as I moved my way forward, I actually wound up switching and uh, I was using two dabs of Meguiar's 105 along with two dabs of 3D1 on the Eurofiber pad and it was still cutting pretty well. But as I moved farther forward on the truck on the door and those lower rockers like I showed you earlier in the video, it just wasn't cutting it. So I wound up switching over and you can see I'm pointing out the, uh, the swirl marks that were in the door there. So. I actually wound up switching over to a Lake Country Blue HDO pad, which is a pretty heavy cut pad, and just using Meguiar's 105. That was definitely doing the trick, but anytime you use a heavy compound like that, 
you're always gonna have to come back through with another polishing step to knock out the haze or any swirls that you might've put in the paint itself. So I'm still using a Euro fiber pad here and it's still doing an okay job, but I actually wound up going back over this door because I just wasn't 100% happy with the outcome with just the 3D, uh, 3D1 and, and Meguiar's 105. Now the hood, like I mentioned earlier, really didn't have many defects in the paint, so it just needed a basic polish. So I was able to just run the polisher over with some 3D1 just to kind of jewel up the paint a little bit, and then I was able to move on to the other side. Passenger side, same thing as the driver's side, blue HDO pad and Meguiar's 105 to knock out all of those car wash scratches. Thankfully, as I got to the, the bed cover, uh, all those watermarks were really coming out pretty quick. They weren't etched into the clear coat. It was just basic watermarks on the surface of the clear coat. Meguiar's 105 with the, uh, the Lake Country pad. So that was knocking everything out. Now we're on to my second trip around the truck. This time I went with the orange HDO pad, which is a more of a polishing pad, very, very light cut pad and 3D1. So that's gonna take away all the haze that was put in there from uh, the Meguiar's 105. That's a pretty aggressive compound and uh, it doesn't finish out really well. With the 3D1, it's a, it's a hybrid, it's a compound, but it's also breaking down at the end into a polish, which gives you that kind of a a really nice finish and basically you're ready to roll right after you do that. With the 3D1 as well, when I'm, when I'm following it up from a compound, I really don't have to spend that much time, uh, maybe two or three, four passes if that, uh, on each section. 
and just keep moving my way around the truck. So after basically a, an entire day of, uh, of work, compound and a polish, this truck is now completely ready to go and get its paint protection film put on. All the blemishes are taken out of the paint. The paint's perfected. Thing is, with this truck, if I would have looked at it outside, probably would have never saw all those washer marks down the sides or even the water marks on the, on the bed cover. Once I pull it inside, it was like a night and day difference. We were able to see all of those blemishes stand out with the light shining on it. So it's definitely important whenever I have a vehicle like this coming in that I bring it inside the shop to shine my lights on it and show the customer exactly what his or her paint looks like and discuss different options that we have. In this case, we were going for perfection because the PPF is going to lock everything in. Kind of do the same situation when I have a ceramic coating vehicle coming in. Now time to show you the finished product. So as you're able to see, at some point when this vehicle was probably delivered to the dealership where it came from, uh, somebody at some point ran it through a car wash with some brushes and basically from the door handles down on the sides of the truck were pretty bad. I mean, it, it took, uh, took about two steps. First step was with a heavy compound. Second step, just to polish to knock everything down and finish it out. But um, definitely not expected on a brand new truck with you know less than a thousand miles on it. One good thing was the wheels weren't too hammered from that car wash. Uh, usually, especially on black wheels like this, they are usually showing a lot of scratches just from those brushes rubbing up against them, but they, uh, they made it out with, with no issues. So this thing is ready to go. Like I mentioned earlier, it's gonna get a full uh, PPF. The whole truck's gonna get done. And uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing it back just for some maintenance washes along the line and maybe some interior details. But uh, customer just messaged me. He's gonna be heading over for this soon. So thanks for tuning in on this detail and we'll see you guys on the next one.